and welcome to Sew with Stacy. I'm Stacy, and today we are going to be making a tulle skirt. Now this is a very simple and super quick project when you might need something festive for a birthday party, a costume for a school dress up day, or even something super festive for holidays like Halloween or Christmas that are just around the corner. There are only three things you're going to need in order to complete this project. And unlike many of our other projects, you actually will not need a sewing machine. So let's go ahead and get started and let's make our tool skirt. The first thing you will need for your project is some tool. Now this is tool I found already pre-cut on a roll, but don't worry if you can't find this. You can get your tool on a bolt of fabric like you normally would at your local fabric shop but you'll need to cut that tool into about 20 to 30 different strips of about five inches wide. The second thing you're going to need for your project is some ribbon. I've chosen this purple ribbon to correspond with the tool that I found. Now with your ribbon, you're going to want ribbon that's about an inch or an inch and a half thick. If you go too thick, it's going to be really hard to tie it around your model when they wear it. And if you go too thin, it will become quite flimsy and it might fall off really, really easily. So find ribbon that's about an inch, inch and a half thick. And finally, you're going to need a really good pair of sharp scissors. Now, if you're a child doing this project, please be very, very careful with sharp scissors and do ask an adult for help if you feel like you need it. But it's very important you have some sharp scissors because when you cut your tool and your ribbon, you're go going to want to have a nice clean edge and it'll make your skirt look that much better. We're going to start making our skirt by deciding how much ribbon we're going to need for it. And to do that, you need to get your model and you need to wrap your ribbon around her waist twice. Now. Doing it twice, what that does is it gives us enough ribbon for the skirt plus some extra in order to tie it around their waist when the skirt is done. Now, we've measured it twice. We're going to mark that piece of ribbon there and we're going to cut it. So just be careful, watch your fingers. Yep. And we're going to cut it where it reaches two times around her waist. So now we've got our waistband for our skirt. The next thing we're going to need to do is to know how long do we want the skirt so we can determine the length of the tool strip we need for our project. So in order to do that, you measure the one of the ends of the tool to the length where you want the skirt mm -hmm. and unroll it to the waistband of your model. Now I'm going to ask my model to hold the tool right there and then we're going to go down a second time because we want our length of tool yep. to be twice the length of the skirt that we want. We're going to kind of mark it off there and we're going to cut the length that we need for our skirt. Now that I have one strip of tool already measured against my model, I need to cut some more for the skirt. So I'm going to need probably about 20 to 30 strips in order to complete the skirt. So now we just need to cut more strips. So let's do that. Now that I've completed cutting all the strips for the skirt, we just need to construct it. And in order to construct it, we're going to need to get the ribbon that we pre-measured against our model. And we're going to tie the strips of tulle to the ribbon, starting from the middle. So if we grab one of our strips, fold it in half, put the tulle on top of the ribbon, and then bring the bottom through so it creates a knot on the ribbon, like so. And that's your first piece of tool on your skirt. You need to complete this task until all the tool pieces are on your skirt and you'll want to start 
on the middle and then go from each side to side. That way the skirt stays in the middle of the ribbon and it will be easier for you to try onto your mono when it's done. So let's go ahead and continue tying our strips of tulle to our skirt. Now that you've finished putting all your tool strips onto your ribbon, you have now completed your tool skirt. So all you now need to do is to fit it onto your model. And to do that, you just put it around their waist and tie it behind their back in a nice tight bow. Now if you put it on and you see some extra gaps in there, don't worry, you can move your tool strips around to fill in any gaps or add any extra tool strips you might need if you feel like the skirt needs it. So what do you think? I love it! Brilliant. Love it, <laughs> love it, 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 love it. So thank you for joining Sew with Stacy today and making our simple tool skirt. Please like and subscribe to our channel, Sew with Stacy, so you can find more fun and interesting sewing projects like this one in the future. Do look down in the description. There is a link to some further information about how to make this tool skirt in a more printable friendly format. Other than that, thank you and hope to see you soon on Sew with Stacy.